What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. Today we're going to be talking about a common problem found in Max Mojive 10.14.6 update. At least for me, it's been locking my MIDI core axis so I'm not able to use any of my MIDI instruments inside of Logic Pro X. But I have the perfect solution if you're having any kinds of trouble with this. So stay tuned and let's get right to it. Alright, so we're going to start off by opening Logic so you can go ahead and see exactly what code I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Logic and let's just wait for it to start loading up. Alright, so here I opened up Logic to a brand new session and here I have my uh, error saying core MIDI, MIDI service is not available. And when I press continue and I go ahead, I can open up anything I want. Uh, as far as software instruments, audio instruments, um, audio tracks. Uh, and when I try to use my MIDI instruments, my musical keyboard, uh, which you can actually use your typing keyboard as an instrument pops up. So that's telling me that my keyboard, my MIDI keyboard is not active. So let me show you the workaround around this. This is kind of annoying that every time you have to uh, do this process in order for it to work. but. It's the only way I got it working after this update, so let's just go ahead and check it out. Let me go ahead and Command Q, so I'm gonna close Logic Pro completely. That's a shortcut, Command Q. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and see where the workaround is. You're gonna go into your launch pad, and you're gonna find, uh, it, it could be in your folder called Other. Um, you need to find Audio MIDI Setup. You're gonna click that and open it. So you're gonna get this window, and what you need to open before you open Logic is going to be here in Window. You're going to click Show MIDI Studio or Command 2. And it sometimes takes a couple minutes to open, but sometimes it opens up right away. In this case, for me, it opened up right away. Uh, this is what Logic actually loads up when it loads up uh, any project. So this is the, the, the window that Logic is not able to read before opening the project which is why you get that error message so now with this open you're gonna go ahead and go back to logic we're gonna click that and we're gonna let logic do its thing buffer up and you're gonna see that I'm gonna be able to go into my projects create new and I'm able to go into my session and the little keyboard doesn't pop up and I'm able to use my MIDI keyboard so let's go ahead and test out if I can use my MIDI keyboard let's just pull up a patch here so I'm gonna be using my keyboard and as you can see my MIDI keyboard is working now after you have this opened um, I would recommend you leave it open you can close it but if you try to open up another session you might run into the trouble of getting that error message again so for now until uh, obviously, there's a 10.15, uh, which is a Mac OS Catalina. I have not upgraded to that one because since I'm using third-party libraries, uh, I need to wait till they upgrade their, their software because if not, it won't be compatible with Catalina and I won't be able to use any of my sample libraries. So that's why I'm holding off before installing Catalina. Uh, so I have, I have no idea if there's any errors or if Logic is working better or not better in that version of Mac OS. So I would post a video as soon as I get all of my softwares up to date. I'll post a video on Mac OS Catalina if there are any issues. If there are any issues, then of course we're just gonna be uh, moving smoothly through our how to use Logic Pro X uh, series. So if you found the information of this video helpful, Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. If you have any questions or concerns throughout the video, please drop your comments down below. If you want to see more videos like this, also let me know in the comment section below. Please don't forget to share with your musician friends. I will see you all soon.